Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number eight for early intermediate, and today we're talking about gustar. El verbo gustar. Hola, gorda. Hola, Cindy. <laughs> Una pausa. Eh, ¿Qué tal estás? Estoy bien, ¿y tú cómo estás? Muy bien, muy bien, sí. Hoy hace mucho sol, mucho sol, sí. Esta mañana no, ¿eh? Esta mañana... Mal, ¿no? Llovía. Sí. Mucho. Sí, pero ahora hace sol. El clima inglés. Ok, so, so we're talking about gustar. Now, we've already covered gustar a little bit in the uh, beginners uh, podcasts. Now we want to take it another step forward, gustar. Because gustar works, because it's an impersonal verb, it works slightly differently to normal verbs. And what I mean by that is, for example, if I say... Um, uh, Tienes mascotas, okay? Do you have pets? If you were to say, yes, I have pets, how would you say that? Sí, tengo mascotas. Yeah. And then I want to say me too. I would say yo también, yo también. Okay, that's how we've how we've learned it. Yeah. Now with gustar, you can't reply like that. If I say te gustan. Las mascotas? Sí, me gustan las mascotas. Ok. ¿Y a ti? Y a mí también. Ok, so the difference is, rather than saying yo también, you're saying a mí también. Now, why are you doing that? Because the sentence goes like this. It doesn't say, do you like pets? The question goes, are pets pleasing to you? Yes, they're pleasing to me. And to you, and to me too. That's basically what we've just done. So it isn't me too, it's to me too. They're pleasing. Yeah, That's why you say a mí también. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a the kind of the, um, what do you call them, the prepositions that go with this? A mí, a ti, a él, a ella. A nosotros, giving pronouns. Pronouns. A vosotros, a ellos. Okay. So it's only a mí and a ti. That's a bit unusual. After that, you're just using the normal. Yeah. Okay. So let's try a few um, things that we might agree with. Yeah? Okay. Um, a mí no me gusta el ruido y a ti. Uh, oh, that we agree, you say? No, okay. Agree, so. A mí, perdón, a mí me gusta el chocolate. ¿Y a ti? A mí también. Mucho. Mm. Y sabes, a mí eh, me gusta mucho la música. ¿sí? A mí también. Okay. So, there we have agreement. However, if somebody likes something and you don't, what do you do? We'll show you. A mí me gusta la política. A mí no. Mm. You tell me something. A mí me gusta... A mí me gustan los gatos. A mí no. No mucho. So what have we done? When you agree, you say a mí también, to me also. But when you disagree with somebody, who, when somebody likes something... You just say, to me, no. A mí, no. Okay? Now, that's what we would say, let's say, on the positive side. Somebody likes something, you either agree with them or you disagree with them. However, as Cynthia was doing a bit early, a bit early <laughs> when somebody talks about what they don't like, then you've got to do something different. Yeah? So, let's show you what you have to do. So, Cynthia. I start. Mm -hmm. No me gustan... Los políticos. Mm. A mí tampoco. So, a mí tampoco. Now, why am I saying tampoco? Tampoco means neither. So I'm saying, Cynthia said, politicians are not pleasing to me. And I said, to me neither. Which is the correct way. You can't say, a mí también, if somebody says they don't, something's not pleasing to them. 
You say, no, me tampoco. Okay, so let's do a few of those. India. A mí no me gusta la cerveza. A mí tampoco. No. Gordon, a mí no me gusta la lluvia. Mucho. ¿Y a ti? A mí tampoco. Okay, so you see, if, if you're kind of agreeing with somebody's dislike of something, then the agreement is, a mí tampoco, to me neither. But what happens if somebody doesn't like something and you do? Let's see what happens. India. No me gusta la música flamenca. A mí sí. Ah, a ti sí. Gordon. No me gusta el pescado, el pescado frito. A mí sí. Mm. Okay. So what have we done? Somebody says they don't, something's not pleasing to them, and all you do is you just say, well, to me, yes. To me, yes, it is. So it's the converse of what we did when somebody liked something, when somebody doesn't like something, you say, a mí sí. Okay. Now... Did you notice that Cynthia, when she talked about what she liked or what she didn't like, she threw a question back to me, which was, and to you. Did you hear it? What was it, Cynthia? Y a ti. Y a ti. Okay. So it's great in conversation if you want to talk about what you like. A mí me gusta mucho la música. Y a ti. And there's your opening for a great conversation. <laughs> yeah. Um... Should we try a little bit of conversation about what we like and what we don't like using that, yeah? Okay. Okay. And we'll do this for real now, because I said I liked uh, politics, but I don't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm, Gordon, mm -hmm. a mí me gusta mucho eh, el inglés. ¿Y a ti? A mí también. Mm. Me gusta mucho. ¿Y te gusta el español? A mí me encanta el español. A mí también. Bien. Cintia, a mí no me gusta mucho la violencia. No, a mí. ¿Y a ti? A mí tampoco. No. No, no me gusta. Y no me gusta... Es que me gustan muchas cosas. Sí. Sí. No me gusta pasear a mi perro cuando hace mucho frío. ¿Y a ti? A mí tampoco. No, ¿verdad? A mí tampoco. Cindia, a mí me gusta muchísimo correr una hora por la mañana. A mí no. <risa> a ti no. 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 Y, Gordon, a mí me, me encantan. Me gustan mucho los gatos. ¿Y a ti? A mí no. No. A mí no. No, no. Eh, ¿Y sabes, Cintia? A mí me gusta un buen plato de filete. A mí no. 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 Yo prefiero verduras. Vale. Ok. So, there you can see how it goes. Somebody saying something, and then somebody replying, dependent on what they've said. Did you notice also that the sentence is completely valid by saying, me gusta el helado. But lots of times when you want to kind of reinforce what you're saying, you start the sentence off with, a mí me gusta el helado. Okay, it's kind of like a duplication, it's kind of a reinforcement, isn't it, Cynthia? It's like when on the radio you've got this carpet man that says, I love carpets, me. That's right, yeah. You, you have that in, oh, oh, I love mashed potato, me. Yeah, in the North northeast, in the northeast of England, we, we put, for emphasis, we put a me at the end, yeah? Yeah, um, um, I work, I work in, in Darlington, me, and, and you know me, yeah, and that's kind of what you're doing. One of the reasons why this exists, in my opinion, and Cynthia might disagree, is that when you're in Spain, in a conversation, if you do not 
grab your piece of conversation, you will be left behind because it's almost like a fight for conversation. Sometimes it's like my turn and people are waiting for someone to breathe <laughs> and somebody breathes and they go, pues a mí, a mí me gusta mucho porque la 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 la. Yeah? So that's how you kind of grab your part of the conversation saying, pues a mí no me gusta mucho o a mí sí me gusta mucho. Yeah? Okay. So that's the podcast. Muy Hope bien, that's been gordo. valuable. Muy bien, muchas gracias, Cynthia. <laughs> a ti, gordo, un placer. And all of this will be explained in the help sheets as well. Okay. Hasta luego. Nos vemos.